everybody. My name's Sally. I'm with So Sally Papercraft, and today we're going to make a, a version of this card except for a little boy. Now, this is using two stamp sets. The Timeless Treasure stamp set, which is, if you get anything else, this is a wonderful stamp set. This got... You can make all sorts of backgrounds, all sorts of effects on your cards. This is just absolutely beautiful. And the Better Together stamp set. Now this is a new stamp set from Stampin' Up! And this has got everything that, if you just start now, that you need. Sympathy cards, happy birthdays, weddings, um, baby cards, Merry Christmas, just to know, little embellishment stamps right there. Wonderful beginner stamp set. Okay, let's get started. Uh, you can tell this is the same thing. This is the fourth time I've tried to video uh, on these stamp sets. And my camera keeps shutting off. So we're going to try this one more time. Okay, we're what we're going to be using is Soft Sky cardstock. This is um, Soft Suede. Very vanilla. And this is cut at five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And there's a piece on the inside that matches the, uh, um, that will be same size. This right here is cut at um, five and a quarter by four. And this right here is cut at um, three, and, three and three fourths, three or three and seven fifths by um, five. And then this are just two scrap pieces of paper. Um, what I did is I used some square rectangle dies I had in my stash. Um, Stampin' Up! doesn't have rectangle stashes, uh, dies, but they have got um, the layering circles, uh, rectangles, ovals, I mean squares, um, just all sorts of stuff that are on my wish list, but I haven't gotten them yet. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start by stamping... this background area and this one right here um, is um, powder uh, powder pink melon mambo and this one is um, Sahara sand on the babies we're gonna be using the soft suede marina mist and soft sky okay all right, let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stamp those filigrees. This is kind of a shabby sheet version. And what you do is we're just gonna stamp off, make sure we haven't got it. It's not gonna be too dark, and I don't think it will. And just kind of go all over. Flip your stamp around, bring it in, make it go out, just play with it just wherever you want it to go you know doesn't have to be perfect might put another one right there that's good enough all right we're going to clean that stamp off all right the next thing we're going to use is we're going to be using this little polka dot one and what i'm going to be using that one is is in the marina mist okay now this one we are probably going to See, that's a little bit dark. That's a little bit better. So we're gonna stamp that off. And you're just gonna put some dots just everywhere. Wherever you want some dots, we're gonna put them on there. Just play with it. That one's I stamped full strength, that's okay. And we're just gonna put some dots all over this just wherever you see an empty and you can even like take this and finish cleaning off your stamp add a few more of the faded kind in there okay all right now then, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this stamp right here and this stamp has got this little edge right here it's kind of like a edge of a dirty book or something so, and we're going to do this one soft suede. Now, soft suede is kind of dark, so we are definitely going to have to stamp on that. See how dark that is? All right, 
and then see the second layer so we may even have to do a third layer let's see yeah let's stamp off twice and we're just gonna bring this in just a little bit just enough to get a little bit of that edge around there heavier on one side than the other you know wherever you feel like it bring it in the corners a little bit if you want to you know there we go kind of like that it's kind of be a fast shabby chic boy all right we're gonna close that up and what we're going to do is get our sentiment piece. Now, we're going to stamp this in the marina mess, but this time we're going to stamp this full. Okay? And what we're going to use is this congratulations on your new arrival. Okay, where to go? There it is. Stamp block for this. Let's turn this over, kind of line that up there, and let's see if we can get this on here straight. And let's ink that up pretty good. Now, when you push this down, don't push down too hard, you're going to end up with it pushing on the end. There we go. All right. Now, then got that stamped now let's stamp the inside of the card okay and we're gonna do the same thing okay we're gonna move this out of the way we're gonna put this here and we're just gonna kind of build that up a little bit and down just like that okay now let's take our marina mist let's stamp that off there we go well, and lastly what I'm gonna do is sorry it was my husband coming in didn't know I was filming this one right here okay and let's stamp this off and let's get that up here and bring that in here maybe up the side a little bit maybe just a little bit more like that and you can kind of play around right there okay That's it. That's all the stamping. All we got to do is just build a card. I told you this is really simple. Here we go. What we're going to do is I like to use the Tombow Blue because I never get it straight with the fast fuse or tape runners. So we're going to just put this down like this. And I'm going to set that because I'm always having to move it just like that okay got that one done now then, I'm gonna take this one and we're gonna put this on here well maybe and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get some ribbon out and this is actually the crumb cake ribbon it's just a, just a little bit lighter um, ribbon Kind of 
was that one? That's a pool party. You know what? I think we're going to use a pool party. All over. In there. Let's see what this one looks like. You can tell I just got these in. These are the new ribbons. This is the shimmer ribbon and stuff. Oh, nothing like being prepared, right? Didn't really think it was going to be this hard to open up. There we go. All right. Let's see how this one looks. Well, that's not too bad, like. Yeah, let's use that one. Now, there was a demonstrator that I saw that did this, and I cannot think of her name. I am so sorry, but I just cannot. But I'm gonna show you to if I can if I find her again, I will definitely show you. What she does, let's put this around here like this way, is she ties this ribbon. This is because I'm horrible at making bows. She'll tie this ribbon around like this. Okay? And then she ties it again. Okay? Alright, just like that. Then she slides it off the Wink of Stella. Maybe I can get it off. There we go. Okay. And then she takes her scissors. Let's cut it off a little bit. She'll take her scissors and she goes in here, this little loop, and she'll cut it. And it makes this adorable little bow. See? Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so let's stick this bow down. Let's find our pretty side. I think I like it like that. Okay, now then, what I use to stick this down with this tape. And we're just gonna stick it right around that area. Let's check that out. Let's see. Yeah, I think that'd be okay because my sentiment's going right there. Let's just make sure we've got it even. Okay. Let's just put some more tape on there. Got it pulled good. And we're going to use our dimensionals. And we're going to pop this up on the card. Now I have a tendency to overdo it on the dimensionals because I don't want the card sagging in the middle. So, you know, put however many or however few that you feel like is good. Okay, let's bring our card back here. Oop, peeled that one completely off. And another push down in the center with your nails, kind of pops that up. And I think it was Jan B that I was watching and saw that. Let's get this in here. Okay. Now you can ink around the edge of this if you want to, just to put a little bit more um, distress to it, I guess. But I kind of like it like that, you know. And then we're gonna pop this up on the dimensionals too. And you know what? We have got the new mini dimensionals. I think I'm gonna use to make sure I get it all of that ribbon. Here we go. Aren't those cute? Little bitty ones. Alright. And let me get this one here. Kind of bend that over there. Well. Went and had my nails done today, and I was going to tell them to cut them a little bit. Because, you know, I'm just not used to long nails. 
and it's been a while since I got in there to do it, so and my nails grow real fast. So it was like, but you know, I was got to paying attention to everything but what I was supposed to be paying attention. Matter of fact, I actually was watching TV on the wall I had, and um, before I knew it, he was done, and oh well, you know, I just can't live with him. I'll go back and cut him, cut him off, or I'll cut him off myself. All right, here we go, and we're gonna pop that. We're gonna pop it right here, or you know what? We could put it up here. How's that? Let's put it there. That's straight. Yeah. All right. We have to distress that a little bit with something. It's a little bit too wide, isn't it? Well, got glue on the back of that. Let's put this in here. You know, and I was gonna put a cinnamon in the middle, in the middle of this. But then I decided not to. I just let them write whatever they want to. Okay. All right. Now that's that's gonna bug me. We're gonna have to do something. We'll see if I can stamp this with that hooked on there. Y'all wish me luck. Too good, is it? That's all right. I'll tell you what. Let's hit this. And let's get a little bit of this. The problem is, this is very vanilla from um, Stampin' Up. This one right here is kind of a, a, it was a vanilla that I had that I just picked up the wrong one. Um, I kind of used for my mini albums, but that's not too bad. So, you can tell the difference. But, you know, you use what you got. Love Stampin' Up's card for, um, didn't even pay any attention to that until I already had it cut. Makes the best card stocks. I love the card stocks. Um, I do use different ones for mini albums and stuff, but um, even used it on the mini albums. You cannot beat their card stock. It is absolutely wonderful. Um, tried making it out of card stock. I got out of the you know big box stores, ordered it online at crafts craft store, and still didn't care for it. Love the ink, love the card stock. If you love the stamps, if you don't do anything else, get the ink, get the card stocks, and get the stamps. Dies are just fantastic. Um, you know, you can't beat it. Ribbons are for the price is high quality ribbon. You get ten yards into a spool, and I mean, look at this. That is just absolutely beautiful ribbon. It's it's pliable, it lays flat, it's soft, it just, it does anything you want it to do. Um, so, anyway, that's it for tonight. If you like my video, um, please um, hit the like button, subscribe to see more videos, and you'll be the first one to notice. Um, leave me a comment on anything you'd like to see, anything that you see different, anything that, um, you think that well, I would be improving? I'm kind of new to YouTube, and uh, you know, constructive criticism is always welcome. And and thank you for watching. Y'all have a great day.